One out of four girls and one out of six boys will be sexually exploited before the age of 18. 90% of the perpetrators are known by the family. We are not talking about stranger danger anymore. 68% of the time, it's a family member. Hi, I'm Sharif Ben Joseph, the co-founder along with my partner Sally Berenswey of the Kids Safe Foundation. And today, we appreciate you joining us for this session on having the important conversations with your children about how their bodies are special and belong to them. Kids Safe teaches from a place of fun, not fear. And today, with you, we're going to cover a number of topics. We see teaching our children about their personal safety as just a part of our everyday parenting, like teaching them to say please and thank you. Our goal is to raise sexually healthy kids who are comfortable with their bodies and can recognize when a boundary has been crossed and then know how to respond. In today's Kids Safe session, we're going to talk about the importance of having an ongoing conversation with your children about, one, recognizing the difference between safe and unsafe touch. Two, that their bodies are special and belong to them. Three, body boundaries, understanding that they have private parts and no one should be touching their private parts. Four, the difference between good secrets and bad secrets. And five, how to teach your children who to go to talk about important things with, how to access help from their circle of safe adults. Parents are partly to blame because they don't tell their children about sexual stuff. I use that to my advantage by teaching the child myself. This is a quote from a convicted child molester. I can't stress to you enough the importance of talking to your children about their bodies, about safe and unsafe touch, um, about using the proper names for body parts. A penis is a penis, an elbow is an elbow. If it feels uncomfortable saying it, get in front of a mirror, say it a hundred times until it loses all its discomfort. Because if you are uncomfortable about using the correct verbiage for your child's body, they're gonna feel it. They're gonna be uncomfortable as well. You send a subliminal message. The way we teach this lesson is by showing a picture of a boy with a happy face and we literally say to the kids, this little boy was at school all day. When he got home from school, he got a hug from his mom. Is that a safe touch or an unsafe touch? And the kids say safe touch. And then we brainstorm with them. How does a safe touch feel inside? And they get, they say warm and cozy and comfortable and safe. And then we show a picture of a little boy and he looks kind of sad. And we say, this boy was pushed on the playground by his very best friend on purpose. And of course they say, I say safe or unsafe, they say unsafe. I say, how do you feel inside when you get an unsafe touch? And they say weird and confused and uncomfortable. And I want to tell you, they come up with amazing words. And we say, you are the judge if a touch is safe or unsafe by how it makes you feel inside. Sure. of children in their bathing suits, front and back, and we point out the private parts. And basically, all we say is, you have private parts, I have private parts, we make them laugh. We say even the President of the United States has private parts, they all giggle. We say, but nobody should be touching your private parts. You should not be touching anybody else's. Nobody should be looking at your private parts, and you should not be looking at anybody else's. There's a page in here where an uncle comes to visit, and he says to the little girl, come give your uncle a hug, and she says, no thanks. And I say to the kids, is that okay? And they, at first they say, no, she needs to give her uncle a hug. And I said, well, does her body belong to her uncle? And they say, no. And I say, you're right, her body belongs to her. She gets to decide whether she wants to give a hug or a touch or a kiss. A child who keeps secrets is a predator's best friend. If you take home today out of your session with KidSafe only one skill, we want it to be the difference between good secrets and bad secrets. A good secret is a secret that has a happy ending. A child feels good to keep it and excited and special. It could be, for example, an upcoming surprise party or a special gift he bought for his brother. 
A bad secret, on the other hand, is a secret that goes on forever, that a child is carrying around like a weight on his back. A bad secret gives a child a feeling of discomfort, perhaps fear of telling, nerve, nervousness, and worry. A bad secret could be, for example, that his babysitter brought over friends for the evening and made him promise not to tell. And he wakes up in the morning and he's not quite sure what to do with that secret because he loves his babysitter and doesn't want to get her in trouble. But he knows that it wasn't a good choice. What should you do if somebody gives you an unsafe touch? Circle of Safe Adults. This is something that we teach and use with every single grade up to fifth grade. And basically we teach children that they have, they need to think about three adults that they have in their life who they trust that they could go to if they had any kind of problem. Here's an activity you can do at home with your child. It's called Circle of Safe Adults. Our goal is to make sure every child has at least had a conversation with a trusted adult as to where to go to access help or who to talk to if they're confused about something. In KidSafe, we call this a child's circle of safe adults. You have now been introduced to the KidSafe language of safety that we use to teach children that their bodies are special and belong to them. This empowering message is not a one-time conversation. By using the language of safety and talking to your children openly and without discomfort, you are doing your best to prevent your child from falling victim to abuse while also raising sexually healthy children. For more information about safety and to continue the learning at home with KidSafe's children's books, please visit us at www.kidsafefoundation.org.